Well, automatic weapons, first and foremost. Um, fear, panic. Um, yeah, stranger on a train. Um, and uh, yeah, intrigue, danger, fear. Yeah. Frank is a kind of a, you know, he's the, for me, he was the sort of represented the every man, you know, what is considered by, by society or accepted by society as the normal man, every, every, everybody, everyday guy. Um, <coughs> math teacher from Wisconsin ends up, uh, you know, taking that one trip of his lifetime to Europe, ends up on a train in Venice, is approached by, you know, most probably the most beautiful woman he's ever come into contact with, and she appears to be quite interested in him, asks him to come with her and, and stay with her and spend time with her, and uh, he does, and then the automatic weapons ensue, and romance ensues, and it gets, uh, it gets uh, pretty crazy from then on. He's wonderful. I mean, in terms of uh, <coughs> a filmmaker, he's a guy who comes in, uh, you know, to go to work with, with his toolbox nice and full. He knows exactly what he wants. He knows, he knows exactly what, uh, what he needs to do to sort of uh, get you there. At the same time, you know, you come in with a, with a certain idea. He's very, he's very um, open uh, to, to, to uh, those kind of collaborative moments. I ended up doing quite a lot of the stunts in this thing, so yeah, running across the rooftops was, uh, that was the least of my worries, really, you know. Um, the, the most fear that I felt about anything on this film was being handcuffed to a, um, a railing on a boat um, and being dragged down the Venice canals, you know, for fear, for fear of nothing. No, I wasn't worried about collision, I was worried about going into the drink, because those waters are... Well, they're just, I mean, it's, it's a complete mystery <laughs> what's in there. And, uh, and, uh, and um, you know, three days later, you, you might find yourself growing a thumb out of your forehead. You know, you don't know. So, uh, so that was my fear, yeah. <laughs>